It is very wonderful. It is very wonderful. That whatever Gargamuni predicted, we are now actually experiencing in all detail. Therefore, the purpose of human life is indicated in the Brahma Sutra. Atato Brahma Jigyasa. To make one's life perfect. In the past, present and future, one must learn about Brahman. Because of intense affection, Nanda Maharaj could not understand Krishna as he is. Gargamuni was able to know everything, past, present and future, by studying the Vedas. But Nanda Maharaj could not understand Krishna directly because of his intense love for Krishna. He forgot who Krishna was and could not understand Krishna's potencies. Although Krishna is Narayan himself, Gargamuni did not disclose this. Thus, Nanda Maharaj appreciated the words of Gargamuni, but because of his deep affection, he could not understand who Krishna was. Although Gargamuni has said that Krishna's qualities would be exactly like those of Narayan. Om Gana Timirandasya Gana Jalakaya Chakshuan Militam Yena That's my tree with a Jana Manovis Sam Stavi Tamyena Bhutale Swayam Rupakitam Ayam Tadati Swapadanti Kam Pandeham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamalam Shri Guru Maishtavam Sam Shri Rupam Sakrajatam Sagana Rabhakanatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Rajana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Vada Krishna Padam Sahagana Dharita Shri Vishakam Vitam Sacha He Krishna Karuna Siddha Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Parunitananda Shri Advaita Gata Shri Vasari Gauravata Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Okay, so the verse once more. The words of persons in full knowledge of Brahman never become untrue. It is very wonderful that whatever Gargamuni predicted, we are now actually, actually, actually experiencing in all things. So who is speaking here, this particular verse? It's Nanda Maharaj, isn't he speaking this particular verse? So in this purport, there's like, there's like two sections. The first part is saying the purpose, of human, the purpose of human life is to inquire into Brahman or the spiritual. Inquire into the spiritual. And then the, the, the second part of it, is about Gargamuni and it's about um, how uh, Nanda Maharaj uh, always saw uh, Krishna as his son. Now I was thinking about this, how, how you know, we could understand this. And I observed, I observed, um, you see mothers, for example, who have grown up sons or, or daughters. Um, I mean, I've observed them grown up sons and they're very successful, the sons are extremely successful. They have some very big position, they're earning huge salaries, and they're very, very successful. At work, the people have, you know, warm reverence for them, great respect, very, very formal relationship. But then when they're at home with their mother, the mother doesn't see them in that position, doesn't see them as, you know, uh, you know, vice president of some company or president of some company or someone of this issue. She just sees him as, as her child. Do you know what I mean? And she wants to cook for him. She tells him, okay, look, you need a haircut. You need to get a haircut. <laughs> Your hair's too long. <laughs> you understand? She asks him, uh, and also, I've seen this. I've seen this. No, she's like, do you have enough money? 
<laughs> Do you have enough money? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Her, her relationship is, is that, you know, she's, that's her son. She has to look after him. She has to protect him, even though he has some very big position in the material world. Now, and, and, and the way, to, and this is the way I've understood it, and you have to just observe it, because it's not logical. It's, it's just not logical, is it? You know what I mean? For, you know, you know, there is, for example, a, a person has a very big position in the material world, yet the, the mother treats that person as, as their son. You have to observe it, do you know what I mean? You can't figure it, you have to see it in action. And then, and then you can understand it, then you can understand it. How Nanda Maharaj, get some idea, anyway, get some idea how Nanda Maharaj is seeing Krishna. No, he's seeing Krishna as his son. Um, yeah, fine. Maybe, you know, sometimes he wonders, you know, or Mother Yashoda wonders when wonderful activities happen, this could be God. But then he goes back to thinking that this is my son. Okay, I must protect him. I must look after him. All right. Now, it mentions here Gargamuni. Now, Gargamuni, I looked in the Krishna book, appears after Krishna um, is born. Now, uh, so I, I like to read this because it's, it's very nice. So this is um, from the Krishna book. It says, Vasudev asked his family priest, Gargamuni, to visit the place of Nanda Maharaj in order to astrologically calculate the future life of Krishna. Gargamuni was a great saintly sage who underwent many austerities and penances and was appointed priest of the Yadu dynasty. When Gargamuni arrived at the home of Nanda Maharaj, Nanda Maharaj was very pleased to see him and immediately stood up with folded hands and offered his respectful obeisances. He received Gargamuni with the feeling of one who is worshipping God or the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He offered him a nice sitting place and when he sat down, Nanda Maharaj offered him a warm reception. Addressing him very politely, he said, My dear Brahmana, your appearance in the householder's place is only to enlighten. We are always engaged in household duties and are forgetting our real duty of self-realization. Your coming to our house is to give us some enlightenment about spiritual life. And he goes on, you know, glorifying God and money. But the point was, sorry, the, the beginning point, Vastav asked Gaga Muni to visit Nanda Maharaj in order to astrolog astrologically calculate the future life of Krishna. So, Nanda Maharaj addressed Gaga Muni as one of the great authorities in astrological science. The foretelling of astrological science, such as the occurrence of solar or lunar eclipses, are wonderful calculations. And by this particular science, a person can understand the future very clearly. Gargamuni was proficient in this knowledge. By this knowledge, one can understand what his previous activities were, and by the results of such activities, one may enjoy or suffer in this life. So, by this calculation, it's very interesting. By this calculation, Gargamuni said, this is according to astrological calculation, Devaki could not have a female child. Although everyone thought that the eighth child of Devaki was female. This is amazing, isn't it? Isn't it? It's incredible. Just by astro astrological calculation, he figured out that Devaki, the um, wife of Asta, do you remember the story? Krishna took birth in prison to Devaki, and obviously the um, Yashoda had Yogamaya as a child, and they were exchanged, weren't they? They were exchanged. So, but Gargamuni, by astrological calculation, figured out that no, it's not possible. Devaki could not have had a female child. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> well, I thought it was amazing anyway. So, but anyway. <laughs> so, um, 